And what I want to do is, is just talk for a couple of minutes about something that Mike Kirst uh, passed or didn't pass over, mentioned but didn't explain uh, in his remarks about what's going on in California, uh, which is something called the Local Control Accountability Plan. And in California for the last two decades, as in the United States for the last two decades, we have had an accountability system that relied almost to the exclusion of everything else on test scores. And uh, schools were judged on the basis of how their students performed on tests. Teachers increasingly were judged on the basis of how their students performed on tests. Students were judged on the basis of how they performed on tests. Uh, California is, is making a very dramatic move away from that. Um, and the, the instrument for that is, is what's called the Local C Control Accountability Plan, which is still in the course of development. And, and I'm somewhat apprehensive about talking about it with Mike in the room because he's actually responsible for developing it and is engaged in that work. Um, but the, the Local Control Accountability Plan is developed by each school district in consultation with its local community. So it relies fundamentally on it, the engagement of the community in the development of criteria for judging how schools are performing. And their, their performance will be evaluated not just uh, in present terms, but in terms of their growth over time. What it, what it implies is, is a pretty radical uh, de-emphasis on test scores as a criterion for judging the performance of schools. Uh, the state has established eight separate priorities uh, that must be reflected in the local control accountability plan and the district is responsible for defining measures for evaluating their performance on each of those eight measures. Uh, test scores appear in one corner of the diagram. Uh, there are eight, eight priorities in the upper left hand corner. Uh, there's student performance and test scores are one way of measuring student performance, but there are several other possible ways of judging student performance. Um, and, uh, you know, the others include uh, parent engagement, school climate, uh, and uh, common core implementation. So, so what we're moving toward, what we're moving away from is something that in California we used to call the academic performance index, which was a number that ranged from 600 to 1,000 with the sort of uh, threshold number being 800 uh, that allowed us to compare the performances, the performance of schools and school districts on the basis of a single number, a single index, towards a dashboard of indicators that measures the performance of schools and school districts on multiple dimensions simultaneously. Um, and the, the, the radicalism here is that uh, giving up on the index, the state has also, and this is where I'm might put your fingers in your ears for a minute or two here, but uh, um, <laughs> uh, this is the, the state has really given up uh, for at least the next couple of years on any substantial role in evaluating how schools and school districts are doing, and instead has delegated that responsibility in the first instance to local voters. Uh, you know, if if you're unhappy with the way your school district is performing, vote out the school board. That's, that's the first line of accountability in the system. The second line of accountability is the counties. And this, is, this is entirely unprecedented for counties in California, and it's not certain how they will do with this responsibility, but it's their job to review the local accountability plans uh, to ensure that they comply with the guidelines that the state has provided. And over time, to evaluate the plans to say, is this actually going to lead to improvement? Do we see improvement? And then to intervene in their constituent school districts and to provide them with the kind of technical support uh, that would allow them to get better. And that process is going to unfold over several years. So we, we really have in California uh, made somewhat under the radar, and I think Mike's remarks reflect this, uh, a, a genuinely radical departure from prevailing ideas of what accountability signifies, and a, an equally radical move in the direction of local democracy as the fundamental instrument of accountability in the education system. And I think it's fair to say that we don't know if it's going to work or not, because everybody else is going the opposite direction at present. Um, we have no child left behind. We have uh, you know efforts around the world, really, to strengthen test-based accountability. And California has really moved away from that. And you can direct any questions that you have about what I just said to Mike Kirst, who is the uh, <laughs> world authority on this subject. 